number six. Number six says, find the missing angle. So we have here a right triangle, which is shared at the beginning. We have a right triangle. And we need to figure out what trig function we need to use here. So to find this missing angle, we first need to write Sokotoa, or some old hippie, caught another hippie tripping over apples. So the first thing I look for is a hypotenuse. So I put my pen on the right angle, draw across. Right here, I notice I have a six for the hypotenuse. So I know I'm not gonna use tangent. Second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my pen and draw a cross again. That's considered our cross, or in other words, opposite. So from the question mark to three, we have an opposite. So we're gonna use sine, because adjacent would have been, adjacent here would have been this side because it helps make up that angle of question mark. So we're not going to use adjacent cosine. So we have the sine of question mark is equal to 3 over 6, which is also half. So the first thing I need to do is we need to use our inverse trig function, which is sine to the negative 1. So, I'm going to multiply both sides by the inverse to get rid of this sine ratio. Arc sine multiplied by the uh, sine of the unknown angle is equal to what I do to one side, I have to do the other. These two are inverses of each other, so they cancel. So we're left with the question mark is equal to the sine of negative 1, 3 sixths, or 1 half. And in your calculator, let me get this one so we have one that you can see like your scientific one. So you just have to do second sine 3 divided by 6. You get the question mark is equal to 30 degrees.